Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am here in my dark angel era. I just saw on screen, I'm like, oh my gosh, I look kind of like gothic. Today we are back with a trend forecasting rewind, a little look back at what went down in 2021. I'm going to be reacting to my trend predictions. So I uploaded this video January 5th. 2021 so while we're taking a look back at this video seeing what I got right what I got wrong I'm very curious what I predicted I feel like I'm gonna cringe so bad let's just let's just start okay I already know I talk so damn much how long is this video 26 minutes so we're gonna speed through all of this, some part of the population is going to want to really dress up and dress out. I, I honestly have been finding myself dressing up even to go to Target, like even to go to the grocery store. Where, oh yeah, the fits that were going down the Trader Joe's aisles, my friends. I was just like tired. I'm like, why am I saving these outfits? We're gonna wear them now, and this is still the mentality that I have going forward in 2022. I feel like this start of like a very decadent era yeah let's reflect on the show up and show out i mean definitely i think it makes sense oh and before we get back to the video sorry i just wanted to quickly ask if you guys can comment what you thought was the biggest trend that emerged from 2021 i'm gonna tell you what i think the biggest trends were from 2021 as soon as we wrap up this video so right now before i infiltrate your thoughts let me know what you think was the biggest trend that popped off in 2021 so curious to know what you think Okay, let's get back to this video. You can see this in Balmain, you can see this in uh, Louis Vuitton, in major designers, you know, there's a lot of sequin as well. So I'm gonna be calling out like sequin pants, I think for sure will be a thing. Like, I Or just any kind of pant that are fun like these, like these iridescent or metallic. Is this a return of the American Apparel disco pant? My God, it kind of makes sense with this 80s, it's Hope. very this. Yes, but it's like really freaking right. Resic Studios, they kind of took the disco pant, made it a bit of a boot cut, obviously, the skinny jean is out and this new kind of like more relaxed fit is in so Resic Studios just revived the American apparel disco pan very very popular I've just been seeing them a lot I see a lot of sequin on the spring summer uh, runway shows we saw them in Celine, Louis Vuitton, Balmain Gucci, Lowe, Valentino, Chanel. So again, major designer. Just sparkle, baby. Just sparkle. We want decadence. We want glamour. We want to bring that back. Oh, and then also corsets. I mean, corsets were definitely mainstream. I mean, I uploaded this video in January and I think Bridgerton came out at the end of 2020, right? Am I wrong or am I right? I think it was like December. So it definitely had an influence in what we were seeing in fashion and then Billie Eilish, the cover of Vogue, like that was very talked about. It was like such a moment for her. Yeah, I mean, I did see it a lot on TikTok. I mean, I just feel like it's become kind of, um, something that everybody can have in their closet um because to me fur is like the ultimate in like luxe glam and we're talking faux f okay yeah i know what i can think of actually like yes obviously these things were kind of already trickling into 2020 and then like they just like I had said in the video, it became way more accessible, so more people were dipping into these trends. So corsets, the fur, I mean, I even saw them at Target, you know? Like, they have these kind of like sax pots dupe. Obviously, yes, it's trending. Where I feel like I did kind of miss the mark as far as something very specific, it does tie into this idea of dressing up, this idea of glamour, is the gloves gloves oh my god i didn't really see that coming obviously i didn't talk about it but i feel like opera gloves are such a thing right now and i think we're going to continue to see it more and more in 2022 that's like ultimate i said fur was the ultimate in dressing up but i think opera gloves are the ultimate another thing that i didn't mention in this video but i know i have mentioned it in like the 2020 trend prediction is like feathers and like all of these things kind of tie together I try not to be a broken record but as you can see a lot of years will overlap because if it's something that we are definitely gravitating towards it kind of rides out through the years so like you know maybe two three years let's get back to our next trend uh, is expression so i lightly mentioned this already so really expressing yourself i feel like constantly throughout my videos i know i'm a broken record but i'm always talking about this authenticity being genuine being unique or like really really mixing up patterns and then also with this why does that make me think of emily in paris 100 percent think that this was something that happened obviously i feel like tiktok has a 
really, really big influence right now on fashion. And so I really see this creative like mixing of patterns of um, just a lot of layering. I always see like layering videos, like how to layer, like layer with me. And it's like this really funky mix that just works. I mean, I feel like Emily and Paris can take a few cues, but yeah, I mean, it definitely got super funky. Go back to my spring trends where I styled all of the zodiac signs into specific trends that I thought would kind of flow with their energy. I talked about this mixing of patterns. So I definitely think that was something major in 2021. Got that one right. 2021 is definitely the year of the DIY, especially with my prediction of this renaissance. It's kind of surprising when I get messages like, oh, I just got I mean, a, that's kind a, of hard to say because I'm so wrapped up in like DIYs and stuff. So I don't really know if it's like truly that popular or if it's just like a me thing. So you let me know. I'm going to say that I was wrong here just because like, I really am not sure. As far as like this renaissance, I do see people dressing more creatively rather than being fed the trends. Like for a minute, I did see a lot of sameness like in the beginning of like in 2020 and in 2021. I do kind of feel this shift. Let me know if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, but I personally have seen a shift towards more creativity. And like the resale model definitely is gonna continue. Oh, yeah. And also just like when you are in the midst of a recession, you know, obviously. Yeah. Like I said, when it's something that is really of importance for moving the culture forward, like a resale model, like sustainability, like climate change, like all of these big ideas, it's gonna span over the course of many years really reusing, reducing, recycle. Like that's just gonna be the vibe for many years to come, I think. Like, it only makes sense. And I am gonna be talking about more like cyber stuff in the 2022 forecast, spoiler alert. I'll also be focusing on like really unexpected pairing, mixing and matching these patterns. Like, just anything goes. Like, that feels more fresh and new than like, <laughs> it felt fresh and new until Emily and Paris did it. Check print and all kinds of colors, you know, yeah, whether it's very bright spring. and bold or more new neutral like we, we will just be seeing more of this check print it's so crazy like watching this video i'm like that feels like so long ago and these trends really happen like they really did become fad so quickly like i'm looking at some of these prints and i'm like it feels so dated like it's so crazy how fast the trend cycle is truly moving yeah this feels like forever ago this is very spring summer second skin tops that we saw in 2020 like marine stair super popular right i feel like other brands other designers are gonna copy that because of the success that that so second skin tops i would say that i got this one right too i saw them absolutely everywhere for sure cutouts are going to be everywhere if you haven't already been seeing them and it's going to be in places that are really unexpected Again, the hip is having a moment in 2021 so cutouts yes and like i said this one i did in january but spring summer 2021 had already shown so i was getting cues from the runway and yeah cutouts were everywhere they had like cutouts in the arms. Like that's what I'm saying. Like what? Like what does that even mean? You know, but like I'm saying anything It goes. means ventilation, baby. <laughs> Feel like we haven't really seen too much of. Again, maybe a few innovators if you guys are like super deep into fashion, but definitely not in the mainstream yet. But the skirts over the trousers, I really see that happening, you guys. I feel like it is moving super I fluid. feel like that's gonna be more strong in 2022. Like it's coming. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this again in my forecast. I just did the winter 2020, what was it? 2022 trend video. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video too because a lot of this is gonna overlap into what we're talking about and what's coming for 2022. So we've already been seeing some pairings like that on the runway, not, ever, not across the board, but in certain designers. Like I think it was Acne that I really liked how they did it. Or what was it? Hackney or was it Paco Rabanne? No, who was it? I can't remember who it was, but I really, if you watch the winter one, I say it there. I think we saw sprinkles of it. I was right. I was right in that it was sprinkling in, but it's gonna become stronger in 2022. Another ad, damn. Like art school, like what they would usually stereotype as like an art school nerd in like the early 2000s, like teen movies. She's all that. Like those knitted berets and like a lot of knit clothing. Knit. So knit, yes, but more specifically, I was thinking crochet. 
So we are going to see crochet in like bucket hats probably. We'll get an update. Beanies. We'll see a lot of knit beanies overall. So knit, I 1000% got right. Not only did we see it in spring and summer, which was so popular. I mean, you can think of the crochet dresses that we saw. I feel like knit as a category has never had so much more importance than in 2021. Like across the board, like in spring and summer, like I said, and then also in fall and winter. I think I got that one very much right. And the balaclavas, I think I even pronounced them wrong and I don't know how to say it, but these were new to me, okay? I did not see those ones coming. So while I did kind of have the idea of crochet being everywhere, I did not think that those were gonna be a thing. And obviously we saw it at the end of 2021, so that just is a little taste of what's to come for 2022. Garbage truck is late today, it's like 4 p.m. So obviously I've been talking about 2001, the early 2000s. Let's talk about witch trends from Hello Vogue, Macarena, that whole video. They made it because they're showcasing all of these designers that became super influential. I mean, Blue Marine, Dua Lipa is like our poster child for like Y2K revival. Yeah, it was definitely a thing. No need to even go in further and give you examples because I'm sure you've seen it. It is all about the hip. These hips don't lie. Yeah, we already talked about Whether the cutout or like hip hop. So hip hop, again, you guys have to let me know because I think no. I don't think hip hop music was that, like was the most popular music of 2021. Just look at who was the top Spotify artist. Because I'm in like my reggaeton world and I'm like Bad Bunny was number one <laughs> in my in my head. Oh, Bad Bunny was number one. I'm dead, I really did not see that coming. Well, I, don't, I, I honestly don't think that hip hop music was that important, like I thought. Like I remember growing up and like hip hop was everywhere. Everybody wanted to dress like their favorite rappers, like their favorite hip hop artists. I really thought that hip hop was gonna have like the same importance as it did in the early 2000s, honestly. Like, you know, dressing like Nelly and Ja Rule and Missy Elliott and Ludacris like it was very oversized like basketball jerseys and um, even like think JLo in her music videos with Ja Rule um, yeah I really thought it was gonna be that like baby fat fat farm that vibe and I don't really think that it it hit like I thought it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I got that one wrong. Into like a fur-lined puffer, which is like so hip-hop, you know, year 2001. Fur-lined puffers, were they a thing? They were definitely not a thing, so I got that wrong. Got Missy Elliott here. Fur-lined, the puff, but her hat. This Angora, Angora is gonna have its moment in 2022. Like this hat right here, remember it. Umbrella, but I feel like this kind of uh, pink and also I feel like pale blue. It's hard to say. I think the color that had the most importance in 2021 was green, like a sage green, like matcha latte green, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and say I got that wrong. I mean, yeah, they were still apparent in our wardrobes, but I think across the board, all colors really were. But the most important one, like the most trendy one was sage. You could tour sweatsuits. I have been seeing them a little bit more and more, not quite all over the place. You see, I mean, the thing is, because we all know that the Y2K era is popping, I have seen an increase in market value for Juicy Couture off Depop and Poshmark and all those reseller sites. I think they're pricing them up. Ed Hardy even, I've seen an increase. I like to look up these things, so random, I know. I just feel like it's still um, very niche. Like not every, it's not so mainstream, you know? Yoga pants, yoga pants were it in the early 2000s. So we are going to be seeing this in different fabrications, but kind of like those more relaxed fit, almost like a little bit of a bell at the bottom. You can see that happening for a lot of these like groovy Well, pants. yeah, I was talking about stretchy pants in general, but I just think like across the board, everything just kind of got a little bit more of a relaxed fit, a little bit of a flare, if you will, like a boot cut, if you will. And also in a V shape, because we are gonna be exposing mm. more of our midriff. But these are just a I'm gonna say no. I don't know if I'm too early to this game because the midriff is obviously back. Exposing the belly is obviously back. And I said the V shape because I think it's the most flattering when it still has that like high cut. You can see it kind of in like the bikinis that were popular 
in 2021, you know, like very high cut. It's not quite in our pants just yet, right? Low rise jeans. I talked about it before and you guys threw me so much shade. Oh, it's just making me thirsty. Let's see how let's see how long this video is going to be. So yeah, low rise jeans. We've been seeing them and I told y'all talk years for ago, hours. We're to and they were on bags in like a knitted no, and a never, knit. I'm telling you, I got that wrong. It never happened. It never happened, okay? This literally looks like an outfit that Dua Lipa would wear, this Christina Aguilera getup. Also, I feel like handkerchief. Handkerchief? Ooh, I hate that word. Oh, handkerchief yes. tops will be. Bandana tops, handkerchief tops were definitely super popular in spring and summer. Summer more so. I mentioned Coyote Ugly, and I want that to be my 2022 wardrobe and have a lot of popularity this year is Gap. I feel like Gap mm. is gonna be like a money maker. Gap somehow still managed to fumble the bag. Like, I mean, even in this video, I'm saying how in college we would use them, Gap, as a case study. They're just messy. Gap is messy and even with Gen Z rooting for them, you know, Emma Chamberlain wearing a Gap sweater, they still managed to fumble the bag. If they would have gone with Telfar, it would have had way, way, way more success. Everybody wants to be seen with the Telfar bag, so. Um, yeah, they still managed to fumble the bags. And I think we're gonna be seeing more Letterman jackets. Like, Letterman jackets, yes! I feel like we did see a lot of it. I will say that I do think that the NASCAR jacket was more popular, like what I kind of saw in real life. But I think we did see a lot of Letterman jackets. I mean, you can even see this in Gossip Girl 2.0. Yeah, another trend is ripped jeans. Ripped jeans? Mmm. Ripped jeans, not quite. I'm gonna say I got this wrong. I don't think it was really that trendy. So, where is obvious, more workout wear is obvious. Yes, that was, was like I said, it was obvious. So yeah, of course, that was right. Very plain in middle America kind of vibe, but it's gonna be cool. Like it's gonna be a little bit ironic that that is the fashion. So it's basically, I think what I was trying to say is like norm core. The thing is, it's like, I think that's actually the majority of the, of the, of the nation dresses like this. I mean, if you go to say Target, that's how people are dressing. You know what I mean? I think that's why I'm saying like, I'm so curious to hear what you have to say because sometimes I will be stuck in my own little bubble of like fantasy fashion and people do, I think, show up more for social media. So even the outfits that you're seeing on TikTok where it seems like, oh, they're wearing this in real life. It's like they're dressing up for it sometimes. Like sometimes I do it, but you'll always know because it looks so stylized. I don't think it was like considered really fashionable to dress like that, right? Let's keep going. So I'm gonna say I got that wrong. But in terms of like what you see in everyday life, it's been like that for, since I was in freaking middle school, so. Also, Uggs are back, and it's just kind of ironic. Yeah, the Ugg, oh, that ankle length Ugg has been sold out for months, and I only know this because when I did the winter trends video, I did a whole little shopping guide and I tried to include everything, and when I was looking for the Uggs, it was like completely sold out and like, every single website i mean from zappos to nordstrom to the ugg website obviously everybody was loving an ugg in 2021 definitely got that right it was already on the up and up but it just really took off oh, also brown. brown brown was definitely still it all throughout 2020 yeah brown is just super grounding i feel like i wonder if like, we're tired of it yeah earthy elements for sure but instead of brown i think it was green brown was still a very important color don't get me wrong but i think green definitely takes precedent over over brown you see this rise of like the hiking aesthetic i've actually been saying this for a really long time yes i got it right it it's our tally here hike core i renamed it cabin core in my winter 2022 trends so that was definitely it. I remember shortly after I did this video, that's when the Gucci and North Face collab um, happened. It was like maybe a week after, and then they announced it. I was like, oh my God, it's already happening. And then we'll also see the re-entry of the flannel right shirt. Now. I have one atrocious word for you. The shacket, the flannel shacket. I hate that word, I can't stand that word. It makes me want to, oh, well, got that one right. The plaid has, plaid has its history, but I was just gonna mention that. 
And we can all thank our girl, Miss Kourtney Kardashian, for entering her What's My Age Again era. And we're gonna be seeing some more punky vibes in 2022. In like the most recent time that we saw plaid really have that much importance. Like, I feel like we left it behind in like, 2011. I don't really see a lot of like women or like trendy girls with flannel shirts, but I Ms. feel Courtney like we K. will see that again. And it does kind of tie into this like lumberjack, like mountain man, you know? And then also like a little bit punky, which I feel like punk will kind of start making its way back into our lives. Do you, do you fully trust me now? I mean, this whole slide I remember taking from a past. I made this for like 2020 or something like that. And, oh my gosh, it's getting so dark, you guys. We gotta speed this up, I be talking so much. I mean, the fact that Travis Barker has relevance again in 2021, the fact that Avril Lavigne made a comeback and went on tour, or, or I don't know, she did a few performances, the fact that Miley Cyrus is wearing a skunk hairdo for her New Year's Eve party, I mean, it's very this. Baggy trousers. Very androgynous again because Baggy I feel trousers. like both women and males are wearing these types of trousers, like old man trousers. You can find them again. Yeah. The throat. I feel like this silhouette was definitely really popular. I think I saw Kendall Jenner wearing this exact outfit, right? Like later on in the year. I also feel like with this getting back to nature, this more appreciation of our earth, of our planet. I always get we... so weird when I talk about our earth. It's like my guilty conscience because I know I'm like a product of consumerism. I feel like any new brand that comes out that if you notice, like if it, even if it's makeup, obviously I'm very wrapped up in the makeup world too. Even if it's makeup, they're like, we're eco, we're going green, we're, you know, I'm getting so many PR packages and these like more eco-friendly, um, packaging <laughs> uh, boxes and things like that. So even like refillable containers, like it's just, you can just see it. We're definitely moving in that direction. I couldn't uh, Where are you going with this girlfriend? Like of COVID, the effects of it are gonna be like antibacterial materials, antibacterial fabrics and things that will like kind of self clean and like make us feel safe. I mean, maybe they're still developing those things. I don't know. <laughs> that was so, that was so off. Okay, so I feel like that's like the rounding off of it, right? Shoes will come out with like some kind of like cool house slipper. You know what I was thinking about? Like, what if this? There's these cholo. Um, I did not slippers. say cholo slippers. No, oh my god. They're so those were definitely not a thing in 2021. But I do think the slipper that was very popular was uh, those smiley face ones. Like what? Smile now, cry later. I mean, maybe I was. The cholos were maybe still making their way somehow into 2021. Light has like fully left. Should I turn on a light? I'm so sorry that the lighting got so dark. It's like four and it's already this dark. But um, I wanted to talk about the trends that I think were the most prevalent in 2021. And for me, I think where I missed the mark, I did not talk about it at all. Maybe because I always think of this as like a classic, but Regardless, leather. Leather blazers, leather pants, I feel like that is the trend that was, to me, the most popular. Like, I just saw everybody wearing it. It's the new uniform, I talked about it in that winter video. Obviously, I already mentioned the sage green, very important color. The other major trend I would say is, which I got right, was like the crochet, like knits in general. Knits, yeah, knits were everywhere. Like the groovy patterns were definitely super, super popular. Oh, I also, I forgot, oh my gosh, here I go again. But I had also, I just wanted to leave this TikTok because I thought I talked about like the space age and all of this stuff, but I only talked about it on TikTok. I think I trimmed that part of my video out because it was already so long. And so I'm gonna leave the TikTok and I feel like that is definitely a telling sign for what's coming in 2022. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Subscribe so you don't miss all of the fashion in 2022. And I will see you in my next video.
Okay, let's talk about the new space age, obviously inspired by the original space age that took place in the 60s, which was a time of innovation, of looking at the future like wide-eyed and bushy broad, which I feel like we're kind of in the same sentiment right now. So it kind of makes sense that we're going to be seeing a lot of this in 2021. I've already seen so much of this skirt all over Instagram. This is Paco Rabanne, just synonymous with the space age period. Um, Dua Lipa, she's on the cover of Rolling Stone, kind of like very futuristic kind of outfit almost a little fifth elementy vibes but in knit which is so rad it's like so modern and that's what makes it fresh and cool but even her album the future nostalgia her the whole time promoting that i mean she wore a lot of paco Rabanne. it was just like very that so she's definitely somebody to look at for this trend um resin a lot of acrylic and jewelry i feel like we'll be seeing a lot of mini skirts bubble hems bulbous kind of shapes geometrical kind of shapes definitely the silhouettes are going to be very very mini <laughs> dark web so this is the antithesis to my last trend which was a really romanticized view of the future i feel like this is almost like a cyberpunk or a cyber goth and if you think about gothic it was really that counter to that romantic period during the renaissance that's how gothic came about right so it just kind of makes sense to me and i think we will be borrowing a lot from these like subcultures whether it be like punk or goth so just keeping it really darker colors a lot of cutouts like the layering becomes very this almost like hackers that 1995 movie but even more futuristic this is rick owens right here and even the balenciaga show really had this like virtual reality but in a really dystopian way so i feel like the internet is not always gonna be amazing i mean i feel like cyber warfare our privacy laws it's not always trusting and i feel like people will be wanting to look a little bit more alien-esque as well like you can think prosthetics with like the elf ears and i feel like other prosthetics as well moving forward and we'll be seeing more of the stainless steel gothic style type of rings